and this branch is a solid demonstration of a bank that is positioning itself for future growth. We've taken the opportunity in this difficult economic environment to make changes to all levels of our organizations to create a new CIDC First Caribbean that will be well positioned to serve its clients. We started work on streamlining many of our processes with resulting benefits that have been passed on to our customers. Significant improvements have been made to everything from account opening times to mortgage and loan approvals. And I think Mark St. Hill later is going to uh, show you his new baby. Mark St. Hill is the head of retail and business banking. And this mortgage and loan center is a paradigm for how we're going to conduct retail banking um, in the, <clears throat> throughout the Caribbean in the future. And it's, uh, I think, a, a, a big step in terms of the enhancement of relationship banking and actually providing customers with, uh, with very customized advice um, and financial support. CIBC shares our vision that the Caribbean has a bright future. And they've stood with, through, they've stood with us throughout this period of challenge and continue to do so. And I think it's, it's heartening for us to know that we have the continued backing of such a strong parent to create the CIBC First Caribbean in the future. So I hope that I've been able to paint you a picture of a company that's willing to roll up its sleeves and do what it has to do to safeguard the future of its employees, customers, and other stakeholders. I can only say that as CEO, I'm immensely proud of the commitment, maturity, and loyalty our team has shown throughout this testing time. And I would like to say a special thank you goes out to our customers. I really appreciate your loyalty and your patience. As many of you know, we have moved from cramp, um, our cramp so, so, surroundings at the super center to this space, 13,700 square feet of space. What is even more pleasing is that this branch is built on listening to you. We receive the feedback that created the prototype for this branch. Everything that you said, all of the issues we factored in to building this new branch. So this really is a full appreciation to every one of our customers. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for your loyalty. And we look forward to serving you even better in the future. I did some business with you guys recently. Man, I felt like a king. Instead of one person, I had two opening the doors for for me. I, and I, that struck that struck home because customers are the king. Customers is what matters. And you know the feedback in the couple of months that well a month and a half that we have opened our doors, the reaction has continues to be positive. And as Rick said, my baby, the Loan and Mortgage Center, mm -hmm. is surpassing all of our expectations. And I urge every one of you to come and get a loan. <laughs> <laughs> so this would not have been possible without some very key individuals. And these are some of the unsung heroes. I want to start by the support team. And I want to mention our property manager, Mr. Um, well, let me start first with the construction of the branch. In particular, Rodney. I see Rodney in the audience somewhere. So please stand. Um, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I was extremely pleased coming here on a humility night on Saturdays. Um, gentlemen there, always walking around, making sure everything is done. Any little tile that had a scuff, it was up, it was replaced. And I thank you. You delivered on time. Um, I was fretting, um, especially when my boss says, um, will you open on December 18th it was? And I'm saying, yes, Rick. And going away with sweat coming out there. <laughs> but you did it, and I thank you. Um, other subcontractors, too many, too, um, too many to um, name, um, but I did see Sanjay Amin, BCQS, um, and the others, thanks, um, and the others here. Um, our own team, Errol Wallace, property director, I saw Errol somewhere. Errol? 
Sir, take a bow and I thank you. A most lovely Fitzroy Gregory, um, our project manager, he's based in our Jamaica location. Sean, don't let me leave you out. Sean Small, our Barbados property manager. I thank you. And finally, and most importantly, I want to place on record our deepest thanks and appreciation to all of you, our loyal customers, once more. You held faith with us when things were a little crap, as I said, at our old location. We listened, we listened, we listened. And through your efforts, we delivered this new location. You demonstrated even greater patience when the branch was eventually closed and proceeded to start work. Today, we thank you for your loyalty, and we pledge to continue for what matters to you. We offer financial services to our retail, wealth, and corporate banking customers using the latest banking technology, all aimed all aim at making banking faster and easier. What's our learning zone, as was mentioned, allows you to become familiar with the alternative ways of banking at your convenience outside of regular banking hours. The new spacious facility also provides an expansive area for our customers to do business and is well fitted with comfortable waiting areas as well as adequate parking. It also features, as, as was mentioned as well, the bank's latest innovation, the Mortgage and Loan Center, because we have heard you. And this center is, is designed to provide a central point and quick turn, for quick turnaround times for customers applying for mortgages and loans across our bank network. As expected in our fast-paced environment, there's a self-service area, and this area will be accessible to customers via the main branch entrance, even when the bank is closed for the day. In this area, customers can check their accounts, make deposits via the night facility, night deposit facility, and process coin deposits using our coin counter, and make fast deposits through the instant teller machines 24 hours a day. We at CIBC First Caribbean look forward with confidence. We are confident in a strong indigenous financial institution with a strong international banking and structure we have carefully crafted over the last decade. We have had our challenges, as most financial institutions in recent years have. However, with steady leadership coupled with solid support from our partners and you, our clients, we will continue to weather any storm. CIBC First Caribbean is an international bank across 17 territories in the region, and we believe all indications are that the Caribbean is starting to experience economic recovery, albeit slower in some countries than others. Further, we are confident that in Barbados, we will work together to see our beautiful island return to strong, a strong economic position and over time exceed our past successes. We have every confidence that recovery will, will continue, and as such, over the past two years, like, like here at Warrens, we have been investing millions of dollars in constructing new locations uh, around our regional network and upgrading our existing ones. Like the ageless and stately baobab tree just from, across the, the road, a few meters from here, or Roots and CIBC, First Caribbean, are firmly planted in Warrens. Indeed, uh, this ceremony is taking place in the shadow of our corporate headquarters across the street, and our bank, like Warren's, has, been, has grown and matured somewhat after the, over the past decade, and we are committed to seeing the continued growth and expansion of existing businesses here, and just importantly, as importantly, to welcoming new enterprises to what is fast becoming Barbados' fifth town, and perhaps, as Rick said, um, the, our next city. Uh, the commercial space around us um, boasts more high-rise business office buildings than our capital Bridgetown. Traditional retail of outlets, supermarkets, hardware stores, gas stations, car dealerships have been joined by cutting-edge medical and diagnostic services, financial, telecommunications, construction, and major oil and gas companies. Our government, too, has been gradually moving several of its ministries and departments away from Bridgetown and its environments and environments to this new metropolis. It will become increasingly more important to improve public transport to Warrens and to have a transportation hub somewhat, uh, just like the other major towns on the island. All told, hundreds of millions of dollars and much needed foreign exchange is generated annually from the businesses based here. And as a, as a country, 
we also reach out to the region and internationally from Warrens through several regional head offices located in the area, like ours across the street. At CIBC First Caribbean, we believe that through this ultra-modern, customer-focused branch, we are perfectly positioned and continue to continue to play a role in further advancement of this new town.